Good afternoon everyone. Uh, in this short video, I am just going to show you how to transfer your students from Blackboard to MS Teams. And then I will show you how to build your module shell on MS Teams. There are a number of advantages to use MS Teams. It has got an advanced mobile application, iOS, Android and web based, unlike Blackboard. All Microsoft uh, softwares are supported within the MS Teams platform. More opportunities to use a uh, different and interesting application. A positive student feedback uh, I received. And finally, it has got a very user friendly layout. First, you need to log into your uh, Blackboard and select the module that you want to transfer students to your MS Teams. You need to create a group first. How you are going to create a group is very simple. On the left hand side, under course management, there is a folder called users and groups. Just click that folder. And then there, is a, there are two options, groups and users. Please select groups. And then you have to select uh, create. And then just uh, uh, click um, uh, manual uh, enrollment, manual enroll. On the new page, which is titled to create group, there is a section called name. You need to uh, select a name for your group. And the most important part of this process is to write exactly when you finish your group's name, you have to put underline MS Teams. And I showed you how to do it. Like um, I just put my group name as a cohort 2020, underline MS Teams. And also you need to uh, select a no for group is visible to students. Group is visible to students, just select no. You need to untick all tools availability. We don't need to select any of these options. Please untick all the options. And at the end of the, at the bottom of this page, there is an option called add users. Just click that add users. And at the top of the page, you will see username. Just tick that box and uh, it automatically uh, ticks all students on that page. Let's say your module has got 10 pages. Yeah, then you just need to uh, select a username in each page and you just move on to next page and following page and tick the username. And when everything, all students ticked, you need to click submit and then there will be another page and then you have to click submit again to confirm your enrollment. The guideline says it will take up to 24 hours to transfer students from Blackboard to MS Teams. In my case, uh, it took around 10 hours. I just created my group at um, 12 midnight and morning around 10 o'clock i could see my uh, modules on my ms teams it will take um, maximum 24 hours uh, the process of a transaction between a blackboard and ms teams you just need to open your ms teams and uh, there is a folder called themes just if you click that uh, folder you will see uh, your module in my case i have transferred two modules i just mentioned it here and you will see your modules in this uh, folder first you need to activate um, that folder yeah, you need to activate that folder and you will see a little um, blue box at the top of the page 
you have to just click that uh, little box and then your uh, shell your mod module shell will be activated in this scenario uh, in this example you can see uh, from my module 21 instructors uh, it means owners they uh, transferred and 235 students we call it members uh, on MS team transferred once you activated the, the transaction you are able to start your meeting with your students you can meet your students just now it says meet now or you can schedule your meetings or your workshops each team has all your students which transferred from blackboard to uh, ms teams in each team we have got a page called general page all your transfer students can see this general page they don't need to be a, a member of that uh, general page all your students which you transfer from blackboard they can have access to general folder but they can only just see they cannot change they cannot edit in general page you can upload all your teaching materials you can upload all those information that you want to share with your students a student can see these uh, files but they are not able to edit there is a uh, tab next to the posts called files all your uploaded materials will be saved under file tab you may want to have breakout rooms or smaller groups within your workshop or cohort there are two options one option is open breakout rooms or open smaller groups that everyone can have access to this uh, breakout room from your cohort or there is another type of room called closed or protected breakout room only enrolled students can have access to this type of room okay then it's up to you what type of uh, breakout rooms you are preferring for your module but i am going to explain uh, both of them how you can uh, set up uh, open breakout room or a closed breakout room okay in there is uh, you can see there are three dots small dots uh, in front of your um, module if you click that three dots then you have an option called add channels just click that add channels and there is a little um, page on your screen you need to choose a name for your breakout rooms and you need a description i put uh, in this uh, in description uh, part i put tutor name day and time of the um, module or workshop and then there is a privacy section you need to just select standard accessible to everyone to uh, on the team and then you just need to click add when you click the add then all your students can join to the specific room based on their timetable but you have no access control everyone can join to the breakout room without your control the second type of uh, breakout room is called uh, private uh, breakout room same you need to add uh, the channel's name in my case i put like a uh, corp 3511 workshop number two and for description i put like this my name because i am running workshop number two on tuesday at 3 p.m I put this information in, uh, into the description box and I will select uh, from privacy I will select private accessible only to a specific group of people within the team 
then you click next and it will take you to the next page in this in this page you need to enroll students the easiest way to enroll students is to use attendance form that we we receive every week copy the student's p number or name from the attendance sheet and then paste it into the search for student box when you put the student p number or student name then it will show you uh, the student name and then you just need to just click that name and just remember when you uh, let's say when you find 10 students just click add this is a safe site you know sometimes maybe you will uh, you will search for 20 30 students and suddenly you have got like technical issues but it's better to save i mean add every 10 students once then it will give you more opportunity to just continue uh, successfully just remember you know when we put our mark in in mark tile sometimes um, the system um, doesn't accept and doesn't record um, all students name maybe you we will have a, a similar issue here then it's better to add every 10 students let's say in this uh, breakout room i have two lecturer and i have got around 20, 26 um, students owners means uh, lecturer or uh, instructor and you can see the rule is owner and students rule is a member just you have to remember you need to check uh, this a lecturer should be in owner role and student should be in a member role how to add or remove members from a closed breakout room again let's say in online workshop 3 you can see i just uh, uh, highlighted there uh, there is a like a three dots you just click that three dots and then there is another page which gives you one option called add members if you click that uh, option then you will see add members then you just click that add member uh, uh, little blue box and then you same as the previous page add students if you want to change the rule very simple just click the uh, member and then it gives you one more option the more option is owner then you can change the person's order or the student's rule and also if you want to remove a person from the um, workshop just simply just uh, click that across and then uh, will uh, this will uh, remove students from the breakout room and finally how to add attendance tab on your ms teams group it's very simple uh, on your ms teams group page at the top there is a little um, plus icon just click that plus icon and look for uh, there is an app called website just search for that app called the website i've just highlighted there click that in little uh, icon you need to um, choose a name in this case I just uh, put online attendance and uh, for URL you just need to copy uh, attendance URL and paste it in this um, URL box and then you just save it when you save your uh, attendance um, link you will see a tab uh, called online attendance at the top of your um, ms teams group page it's very simple then you don't need to share uh, on your screen attendance um, link or attendance uh, qr code it's very simple okay Thank you very much for your time and I hope this guide 
will help you to set up your MS Teams shell very quickly and easily. And also there is a hard copy on OneDrive folder. You can check that hard copy as well. Thank you very much and see you soon.